Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to mount a folder as a virtual drive with its own drive letter in Windows. So let's say you have a folder that you're accessing all the time and then rather than you know navigating to it or making a shortcut and quick access you want to have its own drive letter so that way when you need to save a file to it or do something via the command line it'll have its own letter. Alright, so this computer here has the C drive which is a physical drive, CD-ROM, and then the E drive which is a physical drive, so two hard drives and then I have this virtual drive already created. All right, so if I go to this D drive, which is the real drive, I have this backup folder, with these folders, and you'll see if I go to my B drive, it's got the same thing. So one confusing part here is that when you look at the virtual drive here, this B drive, you can see it says it's 100 gigs and it matches this, even though it's only pointing to the backup folder, which is not 100 gigs. So how it works is it takes the drive space from the drive that it's actually mounted on, and that's what it shows for the you know capacity. So that's the only downside to this. And another downside is you can't change the name. So let's say I tried to change this to backup. It says it's not valid because it's pulling the name from the original source drive. So I could change this drive name here, and then it'll actually change that as well, which is not really going to help in this case. All right, so let's make a new one so you can see how the process works here. All right, so we're going to use this command, sub st, and then the drive letter you want to use. Obviously, it can't be a drive letter that's already in use by something else. And then the path to the folder that you want to have it mounted to. So we're going to be doing this confidential files as our X drive. So we'll just copy this whole command here. We have our command prompt here. You know, CMD from the search box here to open a command prompt. Paste it in. All right, so now we got that. Let's go back to File Explorer. Let's kind of refresh here. All right, so now we have our X drive, which points to the confidential files folder. So if I go to the real one here, or I should say go the normal way here. So here's confidential files. So you can see it matches. But like I said before, it's going to be called local disk because it's going to match the volume name on the C drive where that folder is actually located. And it also reflects the size of the C drive as well. But now we have an X drive, so if we ever want to save something or do a command, we can just point it to the X drive and it will go right to that confidential file. Now one thing I want to mention real quick is if you reboot your computer, it will not stay mounted, so keep that in mind. So you'll have to remount it again when you reboot this folder. All right, so now if you want to view your mounted drives, you could just do the command by itself. So S-U-B-S-T. Now we can see the B drive is mounted to the E drive and the backup folder. And the X drive is mounted to this confidential files within documents for this user. All right, so now if you want to unmount a drive. You could just do the same command with the drive letter you're using and then a space forward slash D. So we'll do this for the X drive here. Now let's go back to here. So that's gone. We can do the same thing for the B drive. And now that's gone. Alright, so once again Here's the main command here. Make sure you just pick a drive letter that's not used by something else. Put the path to your folder. Put it in quotes as well. Just stick it in the command prompt and you'll have it mounted. And then if you want to unmount it later, just run the same command with the drive letter that you're using. Space forward slash D. And then it'll be gone. Alright, so I'll put this in the description so you can reference it. And then you can try it out for yourself. Alright, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.